John, a uh, hard fought and well earned victory for uh, for your boys today. How did you see it? Yeah, exactly like that. Yeah, it was hard fought. Yeah, and uh, it was thoroughly deserved. I think we made one mistake in the game and it's cost us a goal. However, it was great for the players to come in the second half and uh, rally around and, and get the win. Uh, Ian's made one mistake and probably the last four or five weeks, to be fair, you know, and that's the first mistake and he's, he's, he's you know, obviously four first cast in it. Uh, fairly McLean finished it all very well, to be fair, but, you know, I didn't think we deserved to go in at half-time down. I thought we were very much in the game, uh, but the second half, we managed to do exactly what we had to do. It was a different challenge. It was to go out there, you're away from home, you're 1-0 down, you know. Uh, if we can pull it back, if we can go and win the game, then it speaks volumes for their, for their character and their personality, and not, not to give in. And you know, I think that came through there loud and clear that the players were committed to going right to the very end. And you've got to do that, you know. You've got to do that. Last week it took a bit of time. Last week as well at Airdrie, and it took you know, a little bit even longer today. But when you continually put the ball in the box, you continually get your right wing back forward, and you get your left wing back forward. You know, and that, that combination, I'm sure. Is been involved in the in, in, in the goal there, so you get your rewards for it, and I feel that the players definitely deserve their rewards today. And a great travel and support last week at Airdrie, a great travel and support here today. Uh, I hope they're going down the road a lot happier. Uh, we have came up here last season and didn't take anything away in, in, in the league, so great to come up here and go down the road with the three points. I think it's something like 12 years since we've uh, won a league game here, so it's uh, no mean feat. It's, uh, well, that's certainly what I was told as I was coming down. But um, the, um, the the victory is a different type of victory to some of the games we've seen recently. I was chatting with you earlier and saying, you've seen Gerard said about his team that they need to find as many different ways of winning games as, uh, as they possibly can. And um, it was a different type of uh, edge that kept us going to the end there. Yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not an awful lot in it, and you've got to just keep going. You just got to persevere and persevere, persevere, and if maybe they just little cracks will appear in the in the opposition, and you've got to be ready there to go and take them. And that's basically what what, what happened. But we had to remain solid at the back. We couldn't really lose a goal, and maybe you know go a couple behind. So it was good to get the goal so early in the second half. It gave us a great platform to go on to to win the game. So yeah, different ways to win it, and different as I said earlier, different char- characteristics. Be behind at half time, away from home, you know. Going's got tough, and you have to then dig it out. And uh, I'm, I'm absolutely pleased for for every single one of the players, and uh, you know all the fans that have came up here today. My, my teams don't sell for points, you know. So uh, yeah, Louis Allen walks his socks off. He does a hell of a lot of work, and so does Grant. You know, so does Grant uh, Anderson. Grant's dug up a few, you know, very very important goals. The one last week, he just felt that maybe here on this pitch, John Baird would, would, would just go and give us something, you know, and. Uh, and, and I felt, you know, he did, although he didn't score, he, he did give us, he was just a bit unlucky where well, he, he brought the ball down you know, incredibly well and hit a strike, he went over the bar, so another strike in, a, in, a, in, the, in the period that he was on. So it's good to have that ammunition and uh, to be able to bring somebody like that on and uh, put a wee fear into the, the opposition defence as well because they, they know so much about him. So, yeah, yeah, Louis does a lot of work, Louis Allen, uh, obviously maybe not getting as many goals, but the others will get a bit more space and a bit more of the ball and you know he's working working away holding the ball up laying it off and, and, and then getting his cell down in the channels he's had a couple of you know kind of snapshots one in the first half you know he's put a, maybe could have got a couple of better balls across the face of the goal in the second half but he's doing a lot of hard work that sometimes no recognised by everyone McDonald uh, smashing the ball into the roof of the net from very close range giving us all a wee bit of panic at the end ah, it's great you know I, I want him to get into that position a bit more often you know because he's you know he's just came here as a lead back. We've obviously moved into uh, playing with wing backs and, and getting forward, but he's he's not been so keen to get in there, you know. So you, you, when he's down on our side, we're always encouraging him to get in, get in, get in. And uh, thankfully he got there. Uh, so we've, now we've got like Mikey Miller's, he's got to sell about four, three or four goals, and now Kieran's, you know, the two full backs have got goals. All we need is the centre backs to join in and chip in with a few goals as well, maybe from set plays and that. And uh, I mean, the, the goals are getting spread about the whole team, you know, which again, I thought that might be the case this season. And I think that's, you know, you know, maybe it could even be better than relying on, you know, one guy scoring a hell of a lot of goals. We've got a very special person in Louis Vaughan on his way to hospital just now. Um, we'll obviously catch up in the coming days to see how that goes, but meantime, we just simply wish him well. Yeah, very much so, yeah. I think the reaction immediately was, like, everyone in here was, was 
a gasp. But, uh, you know, you, it was very, very similar, unfortunately, to the Beacon kind of situation. So, yeah, of course, Louis is away at the hospital right now. Uh, we, we, we wish him well. We keep our fingers crossed and everything else that you can do to, to wish him well. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try and keep everyone updated as, you know, as, as much as we can.